it it makes you realize when you see other people you talk to other people who are suffering and they're good people it makes you realize that there is no well it doesn't make sense what I'm saying it doesn't make sense something like that can happen so fast. And part of it is it's just so weird and rare. Nobody around here knows how to deal with it, which is why I might have to go out to California. But they understand Hopefully. Hopefully there is a link between the spasm and my stomach. But aside from the limes. I believe the limes can be managed with natural herbs. This is from some books I read. I don't think it's the limes that's messing up my stomach right now. I think it's the spasm, the inability of my colon to move things, getting it inflamed, irritated. But I have to eat, I don't know what else to do, except to eat as little as possible, take vitamins. sure what else to say. People with pelvic floor dysfunction know, know what I'm feeling. Although I would say mine is a pretty severe case. So for people who have MS, constantly spasming sphincters or something like that, go through the same thing. I'm not sure how they I, I have lower lower back pain also. My left lower back is in is sore all the time. I believe it's because spasms nerve travels through there, so it's constantly firing. I mean, I've lost. Another night, shaking my leg, trying not to, trying to stay calm. And the vibration. You know, come to think of it, I've never, nobody's ever cut me internally until today. Well, they did a finger surgery, but. I shouldn't have let them cut my insides like that. Now I got all this slosh down here, rubbing against the cuts. I guess. You want to see? I mean, you can look at me. You can see that I'm. Like, people seem to have this faith that I'm going to be okay without even knowing really what's wrong with me. Sometimes it seems like they don't care. They just make assumptions. 
doctors, they look at you like a car, and their specialty is engines. And they look at your engine and they say, oh, well, this is messed up. But they don't think outside of the engine that something else outside of the engine could be messing it up. They just want to fix the engine. So that's my story of 2011. Got hit with the zipper right around my birthday. Another thing that shows you life is pretty random and unfair. I guess I'm just making these videos as kind of like a log. See how long I can last. Luckily I haven't... One of the other things that makes me think it isn't the limes is the pains from the Cipro were so instant, so severe, that only something like that could have caused this weird of a spasm that never stops. I don't think it's gonna stop unless somebody intervenes other than me. I'm not gonna be able to stop it. People just say, oh, you have a spasm. Yeah, you'll be okay. It's just a spasm. What they don't understand is how it messes up my entire GI tract. I can't process food. You know what it's like to be a human being and not be able to process food properly? It's like you ain't even alive. You can't eat what you want to eat can't go to the bathroom properly. People with severe pelvic floor dysfunction know what I'm talking about. I ain't no spring chicken anymore. So I guess that's part two. Shorter than I thought. I have to say that the the anal surgeon would have been the guy that was the most capable of helping me, probably. With, you know, because what they do is they do injections of Botox, and the anal surgeon was a robot. as is my primary care. I mean, they'll act like they care. But the only people that have shown the most care are the people outside of Western medicine. The acupuncturist, the nutritionist, the physical therapist, who I haven't mentioned, but the physical therapist has actually felt the spasm. She goes in internally and I lay on my stomach. And she can feel it, but she can't quite stop it. Although the other day we did, she did feel it and managed to get my neck, my neck started getting sore, the back right of my neck. So maybe that was really slowing it down. days and nights it's just me alone with my thoughts my negative thoughts trying to calm the spasm down <laughs>